All right, so today we're gonna do a video of gua sha. So we've got our gua sha tubules over here. Uh, so I'm gonna pick my couple favorites. I like these ones to start. So there's a couple things to remember with gua sha. Um, on the face, so we're gonna do a little on the face and the neck. When you're working on the face, make sure you're always going up. And also on the like chin area, if you want to do a little bit more of a limp focus, then you can um, do down the neck, but do it really lightly. So um, the stuff on the face is definitely a lot, it's not like super deep, but it's definitely deeper than what I would do if I was focusing on lymph. So, are you okay with oil in your hair today? Yep, go for it. Okay. So you kind of start as usual, effleurage with some cream or oil, whatever you use. I almost always incorporate a scalp massage in with this, unless they've requested not to have their Hair touched. Put the. Do you want me to take the ponytail out? Mm -mm. Okay. All right. So there's lots of different gua sha tools out there. This set comes with all the ones I just showed at the beginning of the video. But I like to start with this these broader edges and you just are going up. If you're really coordinated, you can do this on both sides at the same time. It's nice to have the same piece so but I like to do one at a time if I'm really focusing then your other hand can kind of follow You can also use it flat. Then there's this one. So it's better for like really wide areas, like the neck is a little bit bigger. If they have facial, facial piercings or anything, you just wanna avoid them. This one again is good for sliding. This way. And I spend about 10, maybe 15 minutes if somebody adds this on, but it includes like a scalp massage. Another one I really like to use is this knife looking one. Just cut the face. Ah! <laughs> So this one's really nice for under the eyes, so you can get a little bit more specific. You can either use it that way or this way. You can use it over the eyebrows. You can even use it like in between.
And then it also works as a broader stroke too. So it's really important that you don't cling these things together next to their ears. So just don't tap them because it's really, really loud. So you want to make sure you're keeping everything kind of away from each other. And if you wanted to do a little bit more of like a limp thing, you would just go really light. Like really light, not deep at all, so you're just getting the lymph. So those are my favorite ones, but I will show you these other shapes too. So I have names for all of these. This one's the knife. This one's the foot. This one's the heart. This one's the tooth. <laughs> They're very technical. Okay, so with the tooth, I like to do where I kind of like maybe like pinch the skin in between. It's just like a different kind of feel on the face because the skin comes in between it like that. But it's also good for adding a little bit different texture with the top of it. And again, this one can be used on the forehead too. <clears throat> this one kind of reminds me of a fish. I don't really use them very often um, because all the other ones do it. But again, you can use it just like anything else. Pretty standard. Um, this one also has a little bit of like a pinchy feel that you can do. You can also like do a little bit more like vibration, I guess, with it. Especially in this area where people have jaw stuff. You just gotta be careful to not go too deep. And this one also would be okay for the eyebrows and in between the eyes. Then once you're done with all your gua sha tools, You'll want to do like a nice effleurage, maybe a little friction in the jaw. 
finish with a nice scalp massage if they're okay with it. And then what I would like to I like to do is grab a towel that is not wet, but it's dry and it's rolled up like this. With their head, slide it under. And then from here, you can move on to the arm massage or pack or whatever, or legs even. So that is kind of how I like to end that. Any questions?